Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kisha Kavain and I'm from Bunga Bangsa Islamic Primary School Samarinda. Today, I will be telling you guys a story about the legend of Toba Lake. A long time ago, there are a village in Sumatra. There live a farmer who live diligently. Although he has a small rice field, he worked hard enough to get their needs. Actually, he became old enough to marry, but he still chose to live alone. In Sunday morning, the farmer was fishing in the river. Hopefully, today I got a big fish, the farmer whispered to himself. He was amazed by the beautiful colors of the fish scales. The fish scales are yellow gold reddish. Her eyes are permanent and round. I mean incredible rays. Wait, don't eat me. I'll stay with if you do not eat me, said the fish. The farmer was surprised to hear the voice of the fish. Due to his surprise, the fish they catch fell to the ground. Shortly later, that fish turned into a beautiful, sweet girl. I am dreaming, thought the farmers. Don't be scared. I am also a human like you. I owe you because you have been saving me from the curse, said that girl. My name is Putri, and I don't mind to be your wife, said Putri. The farmers and Putri became husband and wife. But there's a promise that should be agreed. The promise is that they should not talk about the origin of the fish princess. If that promise abandoned, then there will be a terrible accident. After reaching the village, the villagers are excited to meet a beautiful girl with the farmers. She may be a woman came down from heaven, said one of the villagers. Many people are jealous of the farmers because he didn't have any shortfall in his life because he was diligent and he's good at work. And many people spread the ugly suspicion of the farmers and also his wife. But after the, sus the ugly suspicion reached the ear farmers and also Putri, they don't care about that. Um, actually, they are getting more diligent at work. A year later, the farmer and also Putri, his wife, was very happy because Putri is giving birth to a baby boy, that baby named Putra. Putra grow into a healthy and strong kid. He's a sweet child, but he's a little naughty. If his parent told him to help his parent for, for work, he always refused. And then the, the farmer's wife tells him to always be patient. Yes. I will, be, I will be patient because he was our son, said the farmers. Thank God you think like that. You're a good husband and also a good father, said Putri. One day, Putra has a job to deliver food and drink to, to the place where his father is working. And then, the farmers already wait for a long, long time while holding thirsty and then he immediately go back home. After, after reaching the, his home, he saw Putra was playing football. The farmer said, Scallywag, not know themselves, son of a fish, the curse of the farmers. Without conscience, said the taboo word is, after the farmer spoke that 
after the farmer spoke that word, immediately his son and also his wife Putri is vanished, and the there's a a very high water, and it became a very a very high water and it's become higher and then the farmer's village and also the surrounding village was submerged and then the the lake the lake is known as the Toba Lake and also the small island in the middle was called the Samasir Island so the moral of the story is we should control our emotion and also our anger because our anger could be leading us to a disaster and it could hurt other people feeling so that so that's all my story for today thank you for listening and i hope you guys enjoy it wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh